when you're asked to find a confidence interval, you'll be given a confidence level. Normally, they're 90, 95, or 99 percent. These are three very common ones, and so we usually memorize the critical number Z that goes with it. So 90 percent will have a critical number of 1.645, 95 percent will have 1.96, and 99 percent will have 2.575. But what if you were given a confidence level that's different than these three? So in this video, I'm going to show you how, given any confidence level, we can find the critical number Z. Let's take a look at a normal curve. Now let's say you're given a confidence level C. So what's happening is, on this normal curve, you're going to have two different endpoints. Call that ZC. And in here, this is going to be the area that's given to you, and that's your confidence number. So out here, this is actually going to be 1 minus C, but then half of it, because over here, you have the other half. Now, it will make sense when we use real numbers for C. So all you're going to do is you're going to open up the normal table, and you're going to go find the Z value that's associated with this area right here. Let's go ahead and try it with the 95% confidence level. So let's draw the normal curve again. And the two endpoints, my two critical numbers. And then inside is going to be my confidence, which in this case is going to be 0.95. So the formula of 1 half 1 minus C, well, that gives us 1 minus 0 0.95, which is 0 0.05, and that's 0 0.025. But that makes sense, because if the center part is 95%, then these two here have to add up to 5%. But then when you cut that in half, that's going to give you 2.5%. So let's open up the normal curve and go find the area of 0.025. You can see right here, it's exactly 0 0.025, and that has a Z value of negative 1.96, which makes the positive Z value 1.96. Now let's try one more. Let's say you're given a confidence of 0.98. So draw the normal curve, add your two z values, mark 0.98 in the center, which will give you 0 0.01 here and 0 0.01, right? Because now you can see if you add up these three areas, it adds up to one or a hundred percent. Now go to your normal table and we have to find an area of 0.01. You can actually see right here, this is very close to 0.01. Uh, this one is actually closer to 0.01 than that one. So we're going to use the Z value negative 2.33. All right. And then that makes this one over here a positive 2.33.